All right, move it on. Mario 7? Is this the one I played? Let's check it out. Grand Dad. Flintstones? Oh, Grand Dad. Grand Dad? What the heck? Grand Dad? Grand Dad? What the heck? Gr Grand Dad. Real. Granddad in real life. I can't believe it. The Flintstones were living peacefully with Go Gazoo, who came from outer space. Then one day, with bright lights, appeared a sinister looking time machine, which landed in front of the Flintstones family. I'm Dr. Butler. I came here from the 30th century to obtain prehistoric pets for the Orbit City Zoo, said the man. In the time machine. He then took a dino and hop... Is it Dino or Dino? Dino and Hoppy away. At the same time, the man blasted Kazoo's time machine into pieces and sent them all the way to various places so that Fred and his compa company would not be able to follow him. Now, Fred has to collect all of the scattered parts of the time machine and rebuild it to rescue Dino and Hoppy from the future. Okay, honestly, I didn't even know the freaking plot was about time travel in this game. What the heck? Why do I keep playing time travel related games? I swear. Bruh. Look at this man. <laughs> Wait, this... This isn't... The lo what do you... What? This isn't the first level? I'll, I'll restart. Grand Dad. Grand Dad. We are Grand Dad. Oh, are you kidding me? I have the frickin' like... Slowly load a save state like this on this thing. Yo, we out here playing Flintstones, or I mean, Granddad. Okay, let's get these dinos. Also, another, um, I mean, I don't know if I'd say uh, Forgotten Land is prehistoric, necessarily, but it kind of is, so I think that also fits the theme of things I've played recently, coincidentally. We, we, we got a prehistoric end time travel combined. That makes the ultimate game. Oh my god, well, how is that hitting me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, these dinosaurs are annoying. What? Okay, that guy keeps hitting me. We're gonna play this all day. Clearly. Oh god, the bird. Perish. Yabba Jabba Doo! Okay. Bruh. Bruh. 
you got the whole squad laughing. Oh, they found this extra life. Let's go. Oh god. I don't like that. Oh! Okay. Grant's dad. Grant's dad? What the heck, Grant's dad? Oh gosh, I keep doing that thing where Windows just flips the screen over in half. Not gonna lie, the graphics are pretty good, decent in this game, though it is a late NES game, so I guess that's to be expected. Oh, okay, I guess that gate the guy hurts me, even though he doesn't even look like an obstacle. Boom. There's a lot of ledges here. Why are these cave people trying to kill Fred? The dinosaurs, I kinda get, but, like, you are a fail fellow caveman. Why are you trying to kill, um, Fred? I mean, Grandad, or whatever his name is. Yo. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh man, I'm nervous. Okay. There we go. Kill the birds. They're violent in nature. Very icky. No good. These guys are easy. Boom. Boom. Yo, power up. How do I use it? Maybe it's like Castlevania. Eliminate a use item. Bro, this is this Castlevania. Yeah, use his coins. Literally Castlevania. Axe. Okay. Wait, what? Ah, crap. I saved over that by accident instead of loading. Eh, yeah, whatever. I probably have plenty of whatever I need for ammo. Okay. Let's go, Granddad. You were the grandest of dads. Oh my god, jump scare. What the heck? Man, this dinosaur is terrifying. Um, my window messed up again. What the? You know what? Watch this Castlevania style him and this spam axis. Makes sense. Oh my god, this music is terrifying. Wait, is it even hitting him? Okay, I mean, it says POW, but I generally don't see the impact of my hits. Okay, whatever. Boom. Wait, why is he collecting trademarks? Oh wait, no, that's Time Machine, I guess. What? It's the Great Gazorp. Oh, what the heck? I didn't know there was many games in this. Bruh, they didn't even try. We'll have a match. If you win, I'll give you a prize. Um, bruh, he's not even granddad here. Gonna be the first ever person soul to be granddad. Nobody else has done it. I am the first in history. What the? Bruh, he has a freaking 
peach bomber attack. Yeah. Oh, come on. You, 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 man, you come, come here. Why is it basketball, but it looks like a volleyball? Like, oh, got him. Like, the basketball looks like a volleyball. Or maybe it's a rock. I don't freaking know what it is. Oh, man. Okay, bring it on. Also, why is he wearing blue? Is that his sports jersey? I don't know. He should be wearing orange. Oh my god, this game is ridiculous. Bible! Oh my god, how are you supposed to get the freaking ball in the hoop? Bird... thing. I won. You can go home now. Actually, we tied. What the heck are you talking about? Party like it's 2014 slash 2016. Let's go. Um, let me see if CF is around. Probably not, but... Okay. Let's try the basketball game again. I want to beat him. No, screw you. I am genuinely appalled that you even had the audacity to say you won. Because you didn't. You we tied. What is wrong with you? Okay, you suck. I want the prize. What are you giving me? I want to see what his special prize is. Boom. Bruh, this freaking hoop. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna call it a hoop. Oh my... Yeah. That's what I thought. I wonder if this guy's an actual Flintstones character. I don't know, like... Any of these, like, side people, so... I wouldn't be able to tell you, because I'm freaking, like, baby child. I never actually watched the Flintstones. I just know the freaking Pebbles Cabarble. That's all I know. I only know them from cereal. I'm sorry. And I guess Harvey Birdman? That kinda counts. I think he's in Harvey Birdman anyway. Oh, you... You little... They should put Harvey Birdman in Jelly Snowman. Man. That'd be pretty funny. The ultimate Hanna-Barbera crossover of all time. Oh, uh, you will. Okay. Drats, I lost. I'll give you what I promised. What did he give me, though? Yo, I got a little check mark on it. Um, I guess I'll go here. I guess you can just go wherever you want whatever order it may be. I don't know, not really any order, but, like, you can pick from three levels, so that's, like, neat, I guess. Okay, we're in this, the sunset level now, I guess. It's a pretty chill game so far, to be honest with you. It's not too bad. It's kind of fun. And it's made by Chido, the people that made space, the company that are behind Space Invaders and other, brah, burger in the prehistoric times. You, 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 for real right here. Oh my god, that guy has a gun. This is the prehistoric age. How do you have a gun? What? What the?
Okay, wait, let me just... Oh, hello there, Sony Playstations. The real Sony Playstations. And probably... Not a bot. No, it's a bot. <laughs> I can't believe Sony Playstations is a bot. We got we we have to destroy them. Okay. They're dead. What do you want, Fred? Wait, what? What is this? Oh, yo, you can get a free dinosaur from him. Yo. Okay, he uses some of your coins, but that's pretty neat. As a feature. Damn it. I keep saving over my save states by accident because I forget the combination. Yeah, whatever. I probably don't need those coins. What happens, man? Can I, can I go? Oh, I can. Easy. Your old granddad is gonna have a hard time with this. Were there guns in the Flintstones? I don't think there would be, but I guess there might be. No, no, I'd never seen it. Burgar. No, oh, I'm just jumping. Yo, it's a trampoline. Even though it doesn't really look like one. No, I'm not gonna... No, ow! Owie! Okay. No. No. We're going back. Oh my god, the, the freaking enemies, I swear. Just keep running into them. Not much I can do when that guy has a gun, honestly. I only have a club. And an axe, I guess, but like... That's not as fun, is it? Yeah. Come on, do the jump. Oh my god. Is the game loud, by the way? I'm not sure. Okay. I need more coins. To restock. Oh god. Might be a little echoey because it's loud, but I don't know. Apparently that's never really too much an issue, even though I think it is. Okay. Oh, what, what is this? It looks like a... Oh, that's a slingshot. That's what that is. Do, do, do. Yo, what the... How did that guy hit me? I wasn't even over there. This game's ridiculous. Bruh, this guy knocked that guy off his bike. He's scrambling. Ow. You know what? You suck. I'm gonna hit you with a street slingshot now. Oh my, he, he just respawn. okay. He just respawns immediately. This guy is annoying. Bruh, what the heck is wrong with this man? Oh god, I got hearts. Well, at least they're nice about health. Yeah. I already have a slingshot, but thank you. Oh my god. Ah! Freaking bird. Oh my god, the game. 
Okay. I mean, the Windows keeps doing this thing because I'm moving my mouse in the wrong spot. And I'm not supposed to. Hit it with a slingshot. Okay, you know what? This bird sucks. Boom. It's a big jump. I'm kind of scared. Uh, okay. I want to make that jump. Oh my god. Why? The bird keeps spawning. Oh, can I make that? Got to be at the very, like, edge of the platform. I don't even- oh my god, frick. These gun guys are annoying. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh, right. I have to grab onto ledges with up. I have a ranged projectile now, too. Watch out, man. I have a slingshot, and I'm not afraid to use it. Though apparently it takes two hits to hit that guy. The controls are pretty good, actually. Not really too problematic. Typical platformer stuff here. Um, okay. Good. That was worth it. Oh no, am I stuck? Do, do, do. Oh, no, we're fine. Yabba dabba do! Um, okay. Yo, we're underground. Oh, it's an auto-scroller now. No, it makes sense at least, because I have to follow this boat thing. No, wait. Oh, what the... No. Ah, the windows! Okay, you know what? It's not even worth trying to go back for these items. Because you just lose everything. Oh, egg. Egg. Wait, are you kidding me? Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of silly game to play in there. Not gonna lie. I appreciate my mouse if it wouldn't do that annoying thing when I move my mouse to the side on Windows. That is annoying. They give me an egg, and for what? Death? That's honestly a trap. They're trying to kill you. You can't, you can't make it. Oh, okay. You can make it in like a fraction of a second to get the egg, but... Wait, why did I trade my egg for a slingshot? I don't even know what it does. It could be better. Let's... Um... Yo! It's a screen nuke. Radical, man. I wonder how good it is against bosses. 
Oh my god. Or maybe it doesn't work against our boss, I don't know. Oh my god. Granddad, you really have to pull yourself together here. Granddad. Oh my god, you, 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 when you, when you, when you, when you, okay. I have made a grave mistake. I'm mashing up as much as I can. So I think I have to hold it up, actually. No, I made the mistake again. Okay. It's, 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 it's not that hard. Really, really, it's quite fine. The background looks like Cocoa Pebbles, though, just saying. Oh man, this vote is insane. Oh, you little... That looks like it's part of the background. Yabba dabba, don't do that. Oh. That also looked like it was part of the background. Honestly, in all the time that AVGN has played random games, I'm surprised he hasn't really played any terrible bootlegs. Like, you would think that would be on his radar. Like, other than Action 52, I can't really think of any bootleg games he's played. Yo, it's Wilma, or whatever her name is. Fred, I missed you so much. I wonder if Dino and Hoppy are out safe. That guy is in my way and won't let me pass. I'm sure he works for Dr. Butler and has some parts of the time machine. Here, take my throne at. You know, you would think that he would just break the time machine and then take the pieces with them, but no, he just left them here in this time period. Yo, she gave me a stone axe. It's canon. Wilma just carries around a stone axe. Oh my god, that guy looks terrifying. It's canon that Wilma just walks around and carries a stone axe. On, on standby to eliminate any wait what the what what this guy just knocked me off okay I'm gonna damage boost through him okay bring it Oh my god. Aiming at this guy is hard. The thing with the Castlevania axes, it isn't hard to aim usually because most of the bosses jump around, like, in a good way or fly. So, like, it isn't really hard to hit bosses, but this guy, kind of in a way. You got the whole granddad laughing. Yay, we got more trademarks. Yo. Gazoo, you look kind of sussy. Just saying. Da, da, da. Oh, yo, we get, we got her on our side now. I don't know what that means, but... 
Um, I'm gonna go this way. I don't really know where to go. Yo, we're in the jungle, and everything is flickering. Yo. Yo. Like the music. I'm gonna go up here. Real Mario 2 vibes right here. Yo! Well, good thing I looked. Wow, the graphics almost look like freaking Super Nintendo on the tiles. Kind of. They're pretty detailed. Oh gosh. The platforming is getting crazy. What the? Why is it pink? Is this a dinosaur? Yeah. Course. Gotta have that weird dinosaur with a frickin' stair somewhere in there. Mario 2 moment! Or Bible Adventures, I don't know. Or, yeah, that's another bootleg he played too. Bible Adventures. Or, he, he hasn't played Grand. You haven't lived unless you've played Seven Granddad, okay? The best game ever. Oh my god. Boom. Actually, something seems like secret about this, even though it's probably just a pit. Yeah. Just checking. You never know. Knowing 90s platform game. Oh my god. Yeah. They didn't need to go so hard on a random license split strokes game, but they did. Yo, it's Barney! Hi, Fred, it's been a long time. Get on the log going up the stream and you'll find a big man. <laughs> I saw him hide some parts of the toy machine. <laughs> I tried, but couldn't beat him. He must be tired now. Go get him, Fred. Remember this. Try to hit back the coconuts he drops. Don't miss. Wow, he didn't even have a weapon for me like Wilma did. Ow. Wait, what? Genuinely what? Okay, that was kind of cheap, not gonna lie. Yo, we got rotating sprites here. In an NES game. Impressive. Yo! Okay, that's a real Flintstones moment. Simpson. Homer Simpson. Oh no. He's the mother something? I don't know. I wanna do the bone jump again. Oh my god, you I'm gonna need those hits for the boss, man. Let me conserve my energy. I should play more bootleg games. These are funny. And I've always had an interest of them since like 2010 or something. I don't know. Just random videos on YouTube. And it's like, oh, look at this funny game. I'm like, wow, that's funny. I should play Somari. That should be my next one. And then freaking like, Mario World for the NES before I play actual Mario World. 
That'd be funny. I am hankering for bad games. I've played Mario World on the NES before. Honestly, it isn't the worst thing ever. Like, the controls are kind of flimsy, but, like, they didn't do a terrible job of putting Mario World on the NES. They could have done worse. Like, it is kind of Mario World. Just with slightly butchered controls. Oh my god. Get up there, Fred! How am I- okay. I want to get, like, to the highest peak of this, like, platform, but I don't know how. Fred. Granddad. Yeah, I know, right? It's definitely possible, though probably not in the way they want it. I think what they meant was, like, maybe they just couldn't get it, like, running good on the NES. Oh, yeah, I can just go up here, maybe. Oh, okay. That's what I had to do the whole time. Checkmate, Nintendo. There is Yoshi on the NES. Oh my god, it's a... Sasquatch. Okay, I have to hit his coconuts. Or something. According to Fred. Oh, yo. Wait, what the hell? I don't have to use the coconuts though, right? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna want to keep my distance from this guy. Granddad. He's a granddad. He's the monotrony granddad. Okay, he's not bouncing into the wall, at least. Considerate of him. I'm wrecking him. Wow, this guy has a lot of hits. Unless he really doesn't get hurt unless you hit him with the coconut. I'm not sure. I ran out of freaking slingshot. Oh no, is this gonna be a, like that Back to the Future, Super Back to the Future 2 boss? Granddad, yeah, we're playing Granddad. I even did a live recreation of the title screen thing, Joel did. He is somewhat of an inspiration, so I figured I'd play this for funny. We are a granddad, boys. We are granddad. Okay, this guy is crazy. I figured it'd be funny. And maybe I'll play something funny after this if I have time after beating the game. If I have enough time to even beat it, I don't know. Oh, yo, you can knock them in the air. Is he dead yet? Oh my god, this guy has so many heads, like, I don't know. Okay, let me just save. Bruh, because he just glitches the whole screen. Basically, the plot is, this guy from the future 
came in and took Dino and Hoppy, or Dino and Hoppy, whatever the frickin' name is. I don't know, I didn't watch Blitzville. And took them for his futuristic zoo or something as pets. So we had to call, and he broke his zoo's time machine. So we had to find the parts of the time machine to go in time and save Dino and Hoppy. Didn't really mean to play another game about time travel, but here we are. We're doing it. We're, we're time traveling. Oh my god, we got Fred and Wilma now. Oh, bruh, another freaking basketball minigame. This guy, man. They didn't even try to make this into Mario, either. I wonder if they even played the full game. They just took the first couple sprites they saw, that they were like, yeah, make it into Mario, and that's it. Oh no, actually, I know the lore. Fred is helping Mario. That, that's, that's the lore. He's helping Granddad out. What a nice guy, helping Fred and Granddad like that. He frickin' does a Peach Bomber attack. Oh my god, this guy. This dude is annoying, man. Also, not gonna lie, this game is pretty, kinda fun, and not too bad. I don't know. I think this is Mario's ancestor. That's why he's called Granddad. It's the lore. Granddad. By the way, if you tie, he says he wins. Even though clearly that's not true. You don't tie to win. That doesn't even make sense. Yo, Fred, Fred will never be bowling. Fred. Fred will never be bowling. Yo. I don't even know what he gives you. Okay, we're in the ice world, I guess. Also, I don't really have many, like, funny shirts, so I figured... Baby Yoda shirt, that looks funny. Oh my god, the ice physics. Oh no. I don't like this. You can't even move. It literally just stops you. Like, you can't turn around. At all. Okay. Oh my god. Also, they literally got the Castlevania axe. Oh my god. The ice. They got the Castlevania axe in this game. Oh my god, you, 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 you! What? Okay, this, this level's Garbo. The other ones were fun, though. He slides way too far. I think I can stop him by hitting the opposite direction, but otherwise... Kind of screwed. Oh wait, I didn't get the fair. Oh my god, the enemies keep respawning. Yeah, but da ba do. Poor guy.
Bruh, is he using a baseball bat? Oh my- I swear, I'm gonna destroy some fools. Right about now. The granddad game. It peaked on the last level. Now we are suffering. Major consequences. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Yo, what the heck is that? It's pushing me. What? Okay, whatever. Also, uh, coins are just the freaking Castlevania hearts of this game. They're really gonna bring small platforms into this, too? Freezing. I saw some parts of Kazoo's time machine flown over there. I found a few myself, but with a mammoth in my way, I couldn't reach the important ones. I wonder what happened to Do Dino and Hoppy. It's up to you now. Stand firm, Fred. Dang. I, I, I don't remember all of your names. Yo, what the heck? A freaking ice golem Malai head. Oh my god, the platform's here. Egg. 
Wait, does that even do anything? Oh, yeah. Boom. The egg is all powerful. It's like a bomb, I guess. I don't know. Bruh, I'll freaking. Yeah, I think it's just because I used the egg power up. It's pretty easy. Yo, the time machine's coming together. Looks like I have a couple more levels. Short game, huh? Also, I like how the little the characters follow you and they have cute little map sprites. Kind of adorable. Okay, I guess I have to beat this guy in a game of basketball. Screw Space Jam, this is the real event of the century right here. Okay, Flintstones Basketball. Match of the century. Fred versus random guy who may or may not be a real Flintstones character. I don't know. Also, have you guys heard of the freaking Flintstones comic? Because it looks ridiculous and I love it. Yo, this guy's going real hard now. Better watch out. Basically, they take Fred, the Flintstones and try to make it have a serious tone, and all the characters look like realistic, and it's funny. I think it's not trying to take itself seriously, probably, and it's funny. Okay, this guy is annoying. Yeah, they're all just like realistic looking. And there's like deep inspiring quotes in it in lore or something. It's kinda of like Scooby Apocalypse, that's a real comic too. It's like zombies or something, and then people are dying, I don't know. Scooby Apocalypse, it's a real thing. Oh my god, you stupid Bro, this guy is cheating now. I'm genuinely convinced he's cheating. Bruh, why can't I score anything? You, you... What if I just time him out and try to get, like, one point while he gets no points? I am ballin'! Okay. Bring it on. Boom. <laughs> okay, actually, that's easy. Okay, I'm gonna beat him. I can just time him out. As long as I get one point over him, it's an easy win. Oh, no. Hey! You're too fast! Okay. Boom, timed him out. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, a castle? Yo, we're in a castle. Why is there a castle in the prehistoric times? How are they able to build it? Oh, yo. Maybe the frickin' time traveler built it. I don't know. Bruh, it's just the cutscene music, so it's just repeating over and over. Oh my god, are you kidding me? These jumps, man. Oh my god. I wonder if that's worth it. Let's see what it is. Surely nothing's better than this egg I have. Bruh, all that for a heart, which I can just get anywhere else, instead of spikes. Can I go up here? Like 
can. The bats don't give me coins, though. I'm sad about it. What is up here? Bro, all that for a slingshot? I'd rather use an egg. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, it's just part of the background. Oh, what the? Okay. It's not part of the background. I was dead wrong. I don't know what the burger does. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Save here. Is this a lever? Oh gosh. Yo, what the? They're like way fast. Spooky, scary skeletons. It's not even worth fighting that. Oh my god. That fire, that lava goes up way fast. This is like those freaking insane Mario Maker 2 levels. <laughs> but even crazier. Oh my god. What? 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 Genuinely, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like, go this way? No. Wait. Uh, I'm dead. He can't get up? What is this? Yeah, Fred. Fred, no. No. Oh, I lost my power that I was saving. Gosh darn it. This lava part sucks. I can't even save state it properly. Just let's save it right here. Wait, what? The floor falls too? Oh my god. I hate this. Am I gonna be able to beat this level? Sudden difficulty, Spike Man. Might as well just die again. Save right here, I guess. You have to be exactly as fast as the game wants you to be. Otherwise, you're toast from all this lava. What? Why is this so insane? Am I gonna have to stop here? Bruh, you have to be like frame perfect. What? is this level. The freaking skid animation takes like way too much time. He just does a stupid skid. I can't even get past the first platform. Guys, I need some pro gamer tips. What do you think I should do here? I don't think I can go this way because Like, it looks like the platform's too high up. Many kids cried at this part in Flintstones. Oh my god. I hate, I hate you. I am living in your wolf. That's a very good tip. Okay. I made it like a couple of platforms in. And then death. Okay. 
Granddad, I swear. Granddad, come on! I know, why is it so fast? <laughs> no! The Granddad game is too hard, guys! I'm crying, they, they just raised the difficulty massively. Before this, it wasn't this hard. Bruh. Wait. You know what? Wait, what the heck? <laughs> I forgot Gazoo can do things. Oh crap. I made a save over that. Maybe I'm supposed to use Gazoo, I don't know. I believe I can die. Bruh, Fred turns into a freaking bird. Man, guy. Wait, what button am I supposed to hit? The fly faster, is there a button? What? Okay, apparently that didn't help either. Not even the flying. Not even the flying bird. What? <sighs> okay. Okay, I can figure this out eventually. Okay, now the game's just crushing me. My safe state is crushing me. It's not letting me move. Okay. Jump. Oh, okay. Hatred. Okay, maybe I have to be on the ground for it to function. Yo! Wait. That only works once? Okay, I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good one. Oh my god. Not even that's helping me. What is dying? I probably need like a ton of coins to do anything with these anyway. Yeah, each flight takes like 10 coins. Oh my god. I can't do it. The funny, the funny granddad game is too hard, guys. No, I had a good idea there, too. Oh, that's the end, I think. Okay. Come on, granddad. Fly, granddad, fly as fast as you can. Okay, if I can make that platform somehow, I, I got it. Oh my god, the lava rises so fast. What is dive? You can't use that now. Good to know. Okay. We love you, granddad. We love you. Please, Granddad, don't forsake us now. Oh, he was close. Wait. You, you don't even have to climb the ledge? Is that what you're telling me? He can just make that jump. How was I supposed to know that? Wait, I... How did I do that? 
I was able to jump on that. Watch out, Fred. You don't want to get hot feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got this. We figured it out. Oh my god. Still absurd, though. Come on, Fred. Okay, I keep forgetting. I, I can't grab that one. This level, I, I assume, is the end to many people's seventh grad that career. But I am not a quitter. I will keep trying. I will end this man's whole seventh grand dad career. Oh my god, you, 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 idiot! Okay. Okay. Sometimes the forward input doesn't work when I want it to. Okay, just gotta be able to grab that last platform fast enough somehow. Don't know how, but... You know what? Genuinely, I could try flying there with what little coins I have after I reach the platform. Fly, Grandad, fly! Yo! Yo, we did it! Okay, now we just have to make it out of this hell. I did it! I beat the lava part in Grandad. I am a ge I am a master genius now for figuring out the lava Grandad section. Bruh. Okay, I have to get that correctly. <laughs> yeah. There was worth it to get the egg power up. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it is worth it. I don't know if I'm even able to kill the skeleton. Damage boost drum. Oh, yeah, you can. You just have to be quick on your feet. No. Bad thing is, you don't get a lot of coins in this level. I mean, unless I'm able to kill the skeletons, but like, they're fast. Kill Grandad. Bro, what are these guys with guns doing here? to reach the boss. Oh, I see. I see what they're doing here. Well, I, I know what to do. 
Get this. And then get the health. Boom. Oh, well they kinda did that already. What the? Frankenstein's monster, but granddad. Yo, he did They don't even give me time to prep for the boss either. They kinda just, he's here. It's a bomb. Wait. Can I hit him from down here? Yo, that egg power-up is so strong. Oh! Okay, it's not a boss, it's just a regular enemy. What happens to look like the size of a boss? I see. Yeah, they, they know why they gave me that heart. Okay. The freaking huge monster looking guy isn't a boss, guys. Oh my god, is that Dracula? Bruh, that freaking Dra- This is Castlevania. Grand Castle Radio. Yo. Castlevania Granddad Edition. Da -da 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 and the Granddad Universe. Especially. Da -da 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 I like him because he looks like a freaking Flintstones version of freaking Dracula too. Bro, he even drops bats out of his cave. I don't like how Dracula in Castlevania freaking has fire coming out of the cave. Wait, how am I supposed to hit him from up there? What? Vampire killing part of the bullet bullet boy. Yo. Oh my god. No! What? What do you do if he's up there, genuinely? Oh, yo, if you charge it, I think you can jump higher. I don't know. I'm trying. No. I thought you could. Oh, I hit him. I think. You just have to be, like, very precise. Oh my god. You know what? Dracula, you suck. Okay, this is an annoying boss now. Yeah, I don't have enough coins. I was able to use the egg to hit him from up there before, but now I don't have any coins, so I can't spam the egg anymore. Okay, got it. Yeah, you just have to be, like, right at the edge. In order to hit him from over there. Gosh, how much health does he have? This guy's taking forever, man. Just like the freaking bowling ball boss from Back to the Future 2. Takes forever, and he won't die. Yeah, I see. 
Wait, can I attack him from down here? No. I could try charging, but there's no point, because all the bats would start to go after me by that point. Granddad, get up! Oh my god, he's way too high up. I hate him. You have to be at the very edge of your jump. Like, the very top part of the jump, you have to hit him with the club. Yeah, like, right there. Bonk! Oh! We got him! Granddad has defeated Dracula. Get up on the floor. Yeah, that's basically like the glowing orb from Castlevania, except it's a time machine part. Okay, I guess we're supposed to go across this bridge. Oh. Oh, bruh, a water level in Granddad? Wasn't really expecting that. Okay. That's fun. Well, he doesn't move any slower, he just jumps high, so that's fun. Water level, but fun. They even got the Castlevania knockback. Oh my god. I wonder if I can beat this game in time. I hate this. This level is bad and annoying and bad. My charge doesn't even do anything. Ah, oh, there it is. Yabba dabba doo! You will crush these fools! Crap. 
Oh my god. The hitboxes are weird, man. Sometimes, anyway. Ah, yeah, like that. Come on, water granddad. When he's, when he's jumping, it looks like he has a beard. Like, you can see it. Korean score. <laughs> Yo. Wait, what if I went that way? Ah, oh, nothing but death. Yo. Oh, gosh. By the way, one smaller, lesser known fact. There's actually exists a sequel to this game. Well, I don't know about sequel, but, um, it runs on the same engine, and it's called the Flintstones, the Rescue at Dinosaur Peak, or something like that. And it's, it was a limited edition, it was like, it's kind of like a rare game because there's only 20,000 copies that exist. And it was a blockbuster exclusive, apparently. Though it's, it can't be that rare if there are 20,000 copies of this, so... It's just harder to find. Bruh. Before Trevor Belmont, there was Granddad. True. You know, it really doesn't look like he should- Oh my god, I have to do this again? Okay, whatever. It doesn't look like he should be able to make those ledge grabs, but he does. I don't know how he does it. Okay, the jump turning is a little bit awkward. For, like, jumps like this. Because, like, you can't turn until, like, a second later. After you jump. Oh my god. There. We did it. Wait, there's a secret, isn't there? You never know with these granddad games. Wait, nothing? Why is there just a random ledge? Where's the bubbles? bit annoying. Wait, what if I take the top path? What's up there? Oh yeah. I imagine that's for this level specifically. Bruh! What? I'm sorry? What? Bruh! It uses like all of your coins. Wait, what? 
that like a shortcut? I mean, if you want to do that, you can, but like, that's lame. He uses all your points. Also, you can tell they didn't care because he turned it into Fred. Wait. Is there no other way? I thought that was just a shortcut. Also, I don't think you can't. Oh. No, I can't actually. I don't know, I usually just hit up instantly. Okay, that makes more sense than whatever I was thinking. I thought it was unavoidable. I never had to linger on the edge like that in this game. I don't know. No boss here. What? We're in... Japan, I guess. Grand Japan. Grand Japan. Um... I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> you know, that guy kind of looks like Mario, too. A little bit, anyway. He's like Japanese Mario. Bruh, he's just moving the wrong way. Oh, what the? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't feature other countries in the Flintstone show. So that's interesting. They're expanding on the lore here. Wait, what? before you're supposed to die there. Most of the ledge grab was a little bit faster, but it's fine. I think I'll keep my egg, thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. What the? Oh yeah, actually that's like a Japanese mythology thing, I think. Because there's also a Kirby's Dreamland 3 enemy a lot like that. Oh my god, you can't do. There's a Kirby's Dreamland 3 enemy that's kind of like that. That has like a single eyeball and like a tongue. I don't really know the lore, but... Okay, save here before I forget again. Boom! No, wait, I don't want the axe. I don't know, I feel like I should just save the egg, you know? Because I don't really have to hit the enemies with these weapons most of the time, so saving weapons for bosses doesn't sound too unusual to me. Oh my god, this umbrella guy. Screw him. Oh, you have purple? Oh god! He has swords! Watch out, granddad! The people here are madmen! Oh my god, this guy has a sword. Genuinely trying to kill granddad. Right, it's just a bunch of houses. It's the repeated level design here.
Oh no. I'm gonna die. Granddad, no. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to save. I'm just too into the Granddad lore, man. The game is so fun. What if I just avoided all enemy contact? Or did that? Sneak up and bonk them. Oh my god, these freaking umbrella guys. What? Like, what? <laughs> okay, there. The hitbox was weird, I guess. Oh no. Okay. They die in one hit, but they do a bit of damage. Oh wow, we even got freaking cherry blossoms here. You know, this is giving me some real Super Monkey Ball 2 Sakura Edition vibes, Kappa. Callbacks. Y'all remember that game? My first stream series, other than Mario Kart, Kappa. Yo, okay. Oh my god, I hate these. I hate these. Uh, wait, no. I don't want to save this state. Granddad, you got this. Faith, let's go. I mean, if the lighter bosses are as annoying as Dracula was, then surely I'm going to need this egg and these coins. I think it's a good idea. Wonder what the boss of this level will be. Bruh, this is just a Mario 3 ship. Now I see why they did Grandad. I mean, Mario, granddad, person. Because it's just Mario. No, it is anyway. Yeah, 100 coins. Even the tiles look similar, like... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they were almost ripped out straight out of Mario 3. It looks almost exactly like how they made it in that game. Bruh. I should just make this game in Mario, but I need to make Grandad now. This is my legacy. Playing Grandad and just deciding that it's a Mario Maker worthy. I wonder, I feel like the Mario 3 style would fit it, not only because Mario, it's using the granddad head, the head Mario 3 slash Mario 2 head. But also, like, I don't know. I think it makes sense. Yeah, I want to make the whole game. I gotta do it now. I have to make granddad real. 
This is something I probably could have done like three years ago, but like whatever. Doesn't matter. This guy is not worth fighting. I'm not picking my fights with him. Oh my god, this freaking stupid slug dinosaur thing. Yo, okay, two more dinosaur. Wait, is it hitting him? Um, I may need a backup plan. Is that hitting him? Does it have to be close? I wouldn't think so, because... Um, it hit Dracula no problem, I think. Yo. Wait. Boom. His head is gone. We're about to beat the granddad game. I, I feel it. Yo, he just runs a cutscene. Yo! Oh my god. That actually looks kind of cool. What the? I didn't know that was even possible on the NES. Yeah, that wouldn't have been harder. I would have had to grab the ledge there, probably. Here we go, we go, we go! Wait, was that the freaking Jetsons theme? Wait, is this bad guy from the Jetsons? I don't know anything about either of these properties. If you weren't touching your controller, you would have just died here. Bro, that's the Jetsons theme. What? George Jetson! The Jetsons? Oh, What? George Jetson? The Jetson? Oh, what the heck? George Jetson? <laughs> Similar reaction. Hi, Fred. It's been a long time. What? This is implying they've met before. I mean, I think there's a crossover, actually. How is everybody? What? Dino and Hoppy have been kidnapped? Taken by Dr. Butler? That's terrible. He is notorious for being eccentric. Around here. Oh, I guess that guy's from the Jetson. You can see his lab over there. I would like to help you, but we have a serious... Wait, what? We have a oh yeah, George Jetson will be real. We have a serious problem at the company now, and I'm all tied up. Beware of the doctor, for he is a very cunning man. But I believe you can defeat him without much trouble. Good luck, Fred. Yo, this is kinda cool. You can tell the developers put effort into the- Oh my! That is terrifying. Ha ha ha! Welcome, Fred Fred Skong. I admire your courage in coming all this way. The way his mouth moves is so scary. He's just like- ah, 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 ah. He looks scary. Let's see how strong you are. Ha ha ha! Okay. That guy scares me. Do 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 do. I'm not gonna lie, the Jetson theme is good, but it's not. Nothing will top the Flintstones theme. 
Today I learned that is actually a crouch. You can't really tell in the granddad version though, because, I mean, look at him. He just looks like that. Oh my god, there's fire! The pixel art here is honestly pretty good. Down out, down out! Okay, the jumps are kinda getting janky. I feel like most of these levels would be possible in Mario Maker to some extent using my making magic. So, I'm wondering if I'll have room for both this and Mario Maker 3DS, because I actually forget how many levels 3DS has. I have like 40 level slots, I need to use them wisely. Um, no, I know what they were doing now. You can't make that jump. That is li That has to be impossible. Bruh. I mean... Honestly, if I really wanted to, I could just... freaking add my ult to my... Nintendo Switch Online family plan to get more level slots if I ever had that issue. Like, I could do that. Yeah, I would need to, um, add it to the family plan in order for it to work. No, actually, didn't they raise the cap past 100? I forgot. Because I know the, the, the default level cap in this game was smaller than Mario Maker 1, but I think they raised it to, like, 120 or something. I forgot. Would level making streams be interesting? Cause I think I would have fun do making levels and stuff. Like you could see the process. It's just the only problem would be um I'd have to do it on freaking TV mode, and I don't know how to freaking make levels with the controller. That must be janky as heck. I'd rather do it with my stylus, but that might also mean crappy camera footage or something for levels. I mean, it's not ideal, but I mean, could still be fun, right? I don't know. I'd much rather create with my stylus that I have for my Switch. Bro, these jumps are janky. Dun 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 Can you even make that jump? I have to... I have to, like... See. Not from there, that's for sure. You know what? Okay. I was even worried that the game wanted me to, like, fly or something. Oh god, more fire? I'm gonna have the damage boost, Star and I. Oh, there's a hook here. Yo! He's dangling his little legs. Do 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 do. CF, what do you think? Would a level making stream be potentially fun? Yeah, albeit with probably crappy camera footage instead of the usual capture card because... Like, I don't want to make levels with Freki the cut shoulder. That's not the way. I mean, you could provide input if um, I can't think of what to do for my level, I guess. Sometimes the remix, I don't know what to put. 
to make them cool. But then again, I guess if I did a, a, a stream where I'm making the level, there wouldn't be as much um, fun to that. I mean, you've made cool levels. Or maybe we have a community community involved level that we all make together and I grab all of your ideas and then we can make a level together. I don't know. That could be fun. Sad. I like your Mario Maker 1 levels. Like, I think there was like one with a helmet and then I was bouncing enemies around, I think. Aww. Now, I guess you guys aren't the level type, but I've made at least one original level. The rest are just free makes, but I mean, they still take some thought. At least the ones that aren't just straight up ports, like, Mario 1 is too easy to make levels for. Like, if you're just remaking Super Mario 1, like, there is not much thought that goes into that. Yeah, that was me. Next did like um overworld type level, I think. Yeah, I was inspired by a level I saw on the Mario Maker 100 Mario Challenge. Because I was like, hey, this is a lot like that game show, Hole in the Wall. And then I was just like, you know what? I should make a level that expands on this idea. And it was pretty cool. Otherwise, I haven't really thought of anything. Other than, like, a potential sequel that might be vertical, though I don't know if that would really work as well as a horizontal version. I did want to make a sequel at one point, but I don't know how to go about that. Oh my god, these guys suck. Oh my god. I hate Spike Conundrum. Don't speak that name. <laughs> Have you beaten Spike Conundrum? <laughs> CF, have you beaten it? <laughs> no! Spike Conundrum's so bad. No, I'm just kidding. It is, it is fun, it's just not for me. It's too hard for my baby brain. Man, this is a long level. I guess it's the final one, though. So that makes sense. How long have I been playing? Bruh, I've been playing Grandad for an hour and a half. Bruh. <laughs> That's how you know it's a, it's, it's, it's a bad level, man. It's a bad level. Kappa. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sure if you did a great job, I just can't beat it. Or get very far into it at all. No, it had like... It had like a freaking ton of spikes. And it was in the 3D world style. I don't really remember what you do, but it was insane. Yeah, Star was a real one. I don't know how he beat Spike and Lundrum. No, I want the heart. For good luck and prosperity. Why do they have another heart right after that one? In case you don't get that one, I guess? I don't freaking know. Man, this level is so long. Dun dun dun! Bruh. Man, I miss Mario Maker too. We all had such fun with that game. 
Wait, what stage? Was it one that I made or next? <laughs> if y'all haven't played all of my frickin' World E levels, you definitely should know, because those are like quite possibly the best Mario Maker levels I have ever concocted. But that's just because it's World E. Bruh. What level? I'm guessing it might have been the speedrun challenge one that was part of World E. It's a surprise you've come this far from the Stone Age. Now I'll be your opponent myself. Wait, wait, are you serious? Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, Treacherous Halls. Wait. You guys actually beat Treacherous Hall? Oh wait, no. That, that, that's the one with the Monty Mole in it, with the Buzzy Beetle in one part, right? That's the part I remember most about the level, anyway. Oh no, I'm all out of freaking power. Yeah, and there's like a lot of enemies you have to jump on to get over pits. I believe. Oh no, I only have one health. Yeah, there's a boom boom. I remember all these levels like it was yesterday because the creation process was involved. Oh my god. I might be screwed, guys. How am I to beat seven grand out now? The best game ever. Dr. Butler, man. I don't know who he is, but he's a strong one. Yabba dabba do! Oh my god. What? No, genuinely, what? Oh yeah, that was so funny. Yo, did I beat him? I crippled him. That's so sad. Yeah, that drawing was so funny. I remember some pretty good comments and drawings on my... Wait, what? Okay, thank god, what the hell? This game... <laughs> yeah, I remember on Mario Maker 1, that level got some pretty funny comments and drawings, too. Unfortunately, those aren't saved, because none, no comments on Miiverse get saved. Only your regular po- Wait, what? Genuinely, what? What am I supposed to do? You get hit when you jump on the wheel. Oh, wait, never mind. Yo, this guy has freaking three phases. And he won't stop, even after being crippled. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna have to like save state like 20 times to beat him, but. Wait. Grand dead. He has to be done now. Bruh. Bruh. Yo! Oh my god, he's so creepy. Who is this character? Oh my god! <laughs> he looks so funny! Okay, I, I love Dino. Fred and the others who brought Dino and Hoppy back from the future city. It's so awkward that we read this. Could safely return to the good old Stone Age. Programmer, Misako Kawamura, Kichi Saito. 
Graphic Designer, Chi Kodama, M. Saito. Chi Matono, Nishiyaman, Planner, Nishiyaman, E. Matono. Sound Composer, Yai, Y. Yamada, N. Yagashida. Coordinate, Coordinator, H. Kajita, A. L. Special thanks to T. Horimoto, K. Bando, Bando, Y. Kondo, Y. Koga, Oni Just, Y. Naki Nishi, S. Yasuda, L. Stalma, T. Kato, Y. Suzuki, S. Nakata, N. Kuroki, N. Bruh, there's a lot of people to just think. Presented by XXXXXX. What? 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 Huh. Is that it? Is the game, like, frozen? Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, the game was made by Taito. Bruh, hi boy. He made a cameo playing Plants vs. Zombies. Um, I think it's frozen. Okay, sh I, should I play something else? I don't know if I'll have time for like a ton of games, but I do have another idea that might not take some time. And it is funny. Okay, yeah, that's that's it, I guess. We we beat it. We beat Granddad, guys. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna take a second here. Hold up. Um, I could do more bootlegs, but I don't want to, I feel like I'd, I should save those for another time, because that would be funny. But, here's a quick, here's a quick key idea that I just thought of right now. This is a classic meme. Yo. Yo. The original granddad. Only real ones remember this guy. Also, seizure warning for anybody. Okay. They're already going crazy here. Seizure warning, obviously, with this game. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing. What is this? Is this a game? Quality. I, I hate how his teeth are, look like gums, or like bloody teeth. Where's the rich? Can I push start to rich? Where is it? Push start to rich. Wait, am I doing that? I don't know what I'm doing. Push start to rich. True. Donkey Kong, what's that? Dion Shi La Mali saved the video game industry. Oh. What? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Come on, give me something good. I want to push start to Rich. I don't want apples. Give me a seven. What does this do? This game is nonsensical. Give me a seven.
Yeah, that's what it looks like. Get, we're gambling on this stream, boys. With Molly, with Fortran himself. I wanna bet on a seven. What if I just bet on every outcome? Oh. Give me a seven. I want to push start the rich and make the magic happen. Okay, this game's boring. <laughs> yeah, very, very fun game. You know what? I have another game to play. But I will switch the stream name. I will do something completely different. So let me just stop and end the stream real quick. What? Which? There's a game called Among Us. What the? Why is this a category on Twitch? How did this get in here? Okay. Okay. I'm I'm afraid. Okay, be right back. Let me just do something. Ignore that sound effect. And that, <laughs> and any of this, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? 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 Where, where is the Mogus? How do I? something. Wait, what? Why is it taking my OBS window? This is not working. Amogus is cursed. Oh no, my stream graphic is gone. Okay, there. I want to play Amogus. Why isn't it working? Why? Okay. Among Us OBS. Um... I guess I could do display capture. Though that wouldn't work well. No. No, I don't like that. No. Okay, hold up everybody. I have to... figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, capture any full screen application. That might work. Kinda of sussy.
Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Among Us Haunts Edition. Okay, I'm gonna switch now. <laughs> 